y'all Lita here again and welcome back to my kitchen um, today I'm going to be making for you uh, Yorkshire pudding uh, some of you may not know what that is um, my husband grew up eating Yorkshire pudding and uh, he just loves it so uh, I like to surprise him with it every once in a while uh, but it is all kind of like a, almost a bread but it's very light and fluffy airy and uh, it just goes great if you have a dish that has gravy because he just likes to, you know, dip that right in his gravy and eat it up like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I make Yorkshire pudding and um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing that I did was I went ahead and put my oven on uh, 425. That's kind of high, but they don't uh, have to cook for very long. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is um, two cups of all-purpose flour. Now, if you do not want to make uh, very many Yorkshire puddings. You can um, half this recipe. So we've got two cups of all-purpose flour and just a couple of pinches of salt. That's all the salt it needs. Uh, two eggs. Two cups of milk. And two tablespoons of cold water. That is it. But you're going to mix this up really, really, really good. So it's nice and, and smooth and has all the lumps out. Okay, so you're gonna mix it up till it looks nice and smooth, just like this, all the lumps out, nice and smooth. And then uh, you're gonna want to warm up uh, your muffin tin that you're gonna put these in. I just have a, a small muffin tin here. Um, and I'm gonna take olive oil and I'm just gonna put a few drops in, um, each little, just a couple, just so it kinda covers the bottom. Because we're going to uh, pop this these muffin tins in the oven without uh, having our Yorkshire pudding uh, mix in there because we want this oil to be really, really hot when um, we put our Yorkshire pudding in there because we want it to kind of cook the outside really quick and make it kind of crisp. Um, so we're going to pop these in the oven for oh, about five minutes. Uh, when it kind of starts getting kind of smoky, that's when you know it's ready to come out and put your Yorkshire puddings in. Okay, so our oil has been in the oven uh, for about five minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and add our uh, Yorkshire pudding batter. And you just pour it in there, and let me see if I can let you see what it does here. I don't know if you can see the sizzle or not, but it bubbles up in that oil and it's already starting to cook because this oil is so hot. But you want to just put, um, I usually put about a little, just a little over half uh, a full of um, the batter because it does swell up and get really, really puffy. It's going to be coming out the top of your pan, but it will kind of hold its shape. So. All right, into the oven these go for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna see what we get. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and get our Yorkshire puddings out of the oven and see what they turned out like. Hopefully they're yummy. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, look at that, can you see? Now you, um, let me see I turn around for you. You see what I mean by their turnout all nice and big and poofy. They are they are perfect. My husband's gonna love this. Okay, I hope you guys give this a try. And if they don't turn out the first time, don't stop. Try again. You'll eventually get it. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you again next time. Bye bye now.